General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. Hello, I'm Betty Crocker. I guess every family has its own kind of problems, but certainly baking a cake doesn't have to be one of them. You don't have to be an expert when you use my cake mix. Take my newest flavor, Honey Spice. The men really go for it, and so will your bridge club. A perfect cake. You be the judge, or write General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and get your money back. Anybody can make a cake like that, even your youngsters. Just add water and two of your own fresh eggs. Those fresh eggs keep it moist and tender to the last crumb. Not that you'll ever have any crumbs left over. A Betty Crocker cake mix cake is high, light, better tasting. You know, even your very first cake will be perfect with my Betty Crocker cake mix. As a matter of fact, that's why I can safely say, I guarantee a perfect cake every time you bake, cake after cake after cake. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. That's Spencer Dalton, editor of the school paper. You remember me, don't you, oh, Mr. Well, Irwin? Of course, Spencer. How are you? Fine. And how is the weekly Hamiltonian? Not so good, Mr. Irwin. Circulation's dropping off. Oh, that's too bad. Part of a trend, I'm afraid. Same thing's true with the New York Express, the Chicago Times, and Omaha Post. I'm going to bucket, though. Build it up. I've got an idea. Well, that's the spirit. And what is your idea? The Hamiltonian has decided to run a contest. We'd like you to be one of three judges. I'll be delighted. Sounds like a good idea. What is it, an essay contest of some sort? Uh, no, sir, I'm afraid not. Nothing would please me more, but we've tried that and found it uh, notoriously unsuccessful. As a matter of fact, I had thought about a contest to select the best essay on Einstein's theory of relativity. Something simplified, you know, so everyone would understand it. Mm -hmm. Maybe tie it in with suggestions for peaceful use of atomic energy. But I'm afraid that wouldn't build circulation. No, I suppose you're right. Uh, just what kind of a contest do you propose? We thought we might revive the old custom of selecting a homecoming queen this year. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine. But just how will that increase circulation of the paper? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Irwin, our society is constructed in such a manner that nothing sells newspapers like pictures of women. Hmm? Oh, now, uh, with a contest of this type, we could run pictures of the past homecoming queens when we announce the contest, mm -hmm. pictures of contestants during the contest, and pictures of the winner after the contest. I see. Well, you're the editor, Spencer. If it'll increase circulation, I'm for it, and I'll be happy to be one of the judges. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Irwin. You're welcome. Oh, I forgot. Uh, please don't say anything about the contest until after it breaks in the papers. And even then, I'd like to keep the identity of the judges secret right up until contest time. Suspense, you know. Of course, Spencer. I'll keep mum. Thanks a lot, Mr. Irwin. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Boy, you sure have become interested in the school paper lately. Even the sports page. Mother, would you like to hear the most beautiful writing since Shakespeare? Why, yes, dear, I would. Just listen to this. And so I say to you students of Hamilton High, that in times of stress, when the chill of fear runs through the broad earth's aching breast, when truth and falsehood incarnate stand upon the discussion floor of the world, then we must be sure our compass is true, our ship sturdy, and our basketball team second to none. Now is when they need our support. Let us not fail them in this hour of crisis. Isn't that beautiful? It certainly is. I didn't know you were so interested in literature, Joyce. Oh, yes. It's not the literature she's interested in. It's the editor. That's not true. I mean, uh, well, he writes beautifully anyway. Of course he does. What's his name? Spencer Dalton. But he doesn't even know I'm alive. Well, you can't expect to have every boy at high school dogging your footsteps, Joyce. I don't want every boy. I just want Spencer. That's what you said last week about Freddie Hall. Spencer probably has a girlfriend and just doesn't notice other girls. No, he doesn't, Mother. That's just the point. He never even looks at girls. Not any girls. All he does is study science and work for the school paper. Well, frankly, Joyce, it's nice to hear about a student who thinks more about his studies and other activities. As a matter of fact, a little of the same wouldn't hurt you. I suppose not. Queen Cup. 
contest. Oh, Spencer will have to cover it for the school paper, and he's just bound to notice me then. She thinks she's a cinch just because she's the principal's daughter. That's not true. Oh, could I, Mother, please? Well, I'm not at all sure I approve, Joyce. Oh, please, Mother. It's the only chance I have with Spencer. Couldn't yeah. I? Well, it's all right with me. Oh, thanks, Mom. But I'm not sure your father will approve. Well, couldn't we wait to tell him, you know, later? Well, I guess we can wait a little while. Oh, promise, promise you won't tell him? I promise, dear. Oh, thanks, Mother. I'll get going on it right away. Maybe I can find some beauty tips in a few magazines. And, and the contest is only three weeks off. Boy, you gotta go some. You sure haven't got much to work with. Jackie! You just wait and see. Hello. Hello, darling. Hmm, what's that? What are you cooking? Stay away from the food. Okay, Simon Legree. Oh, I'll let you in on a little secret if you'll promise not to tell anyone. Oh, Stu, stop acting like a child. What is it? No, can't tell unless you promise. All right, I promise. The school is having a homecoming queen contest, and I'm going to be one of the judges. Your what? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, that's nice. What's the matter? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. What's your project for this afternoon? Well, I have to go to a board meeting, and then I'm going to be back, I hope, in time to do a little work in the yard. All right, don't be late. Oh, hello, Mother. What's the matter, dear? Tired? No, just disappointed. I just came from the library, and they don't have a single book on beauty aids left. I guess everybody got there before me. Well, don't worry, dear. I hear beauty's just a state of mind anyhow. Yes, but will the judges know that? One of them will anyway. Hey, will somebody open the door for me, please? Go let Jackie in. What on earth? Oh boy. Hey, what have you got there? Oh, just a few things I thought you could use. Oh, Jackie, you're a doll. Well, I just happen to be passing the library anyway, and... Oh, sure. No wonder they didn't have any of the books I wanted. Hey, what are in the packages? Come on upstairs and I'll show you. And mascara, and perfume, and lipstick, and here's some stuff that'll make you a blonde. Bleach? Oh, Jackie, I wouldn't dare. Why, well, it takes an expert to use bleach properly. Oh, I thought all you do is douse your hair with it. Oh, no, then it streaks and everything. You have to know exactly when to wash it off or else your hair will keep getting lighter and lighter until it's, it's almost white. Besides, I don't think Mom and Dad would let me. Well, I was only trying to help. I know, dear. And I appreciate it. I'll tell you what. We'll hide this until I can ask Mom about it. And then we'll see. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Just pour the bleach in this and we'll put it right back in our medicine chest. Nobody will ever find it there. Fine, but we'll have to remember what's in it. Right. Now let's get to work. we got a lot to do. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, now let's try the other hip. One, two, three. Oh, hi, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, girls. Everything all right here? Oh, sure. I'm not up on the latest dance steps. Uh, what's that? The rumba or the zamba? Oh, Dad, stop kidding. I take it you're trying to lose a little weight, then. Well, she's not trying to lose weight, Dad. Just sort of moved around from one place to another. Oh, well, it's all right if you'd only try to do it without knocking down the whole house. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll try. Thank you. Incidentally, when I change my clothes, I'm going to work in the yard. If you'd like to help, I understand that that's great for moving the weight around. Oh, well, thanks, Dad, but uh, I'm almost through, really. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, let's try the other hip now. 
29, 30. Okay, I guess that's enough. Now we'll have to firm up your cheeks a little. It says, slap each cheek 30 times. One, two... No, three. it says you have to cup your hand. One, two... You have three. to do it much harder than that. Here, let me show you. Okay. Ow! Ow, Jackie! Jackie! Ow! No! Jackie, it's... what's got into you slapping your sister's face? I wasn't! I was on Daddy, please stop interrupting all the time. But she was... Daddy, please, we're busy. Now, just go away and leave us alone. Come on, Jackie. Ow! Women. Ow. Ouch! No. Ow! Ow! Boy, there's nothing I like better than a nice big salad to start off the meal. Yeah, especially with Melba toast. Well, you can have my share of that. What, may I ask, are you doing without the history book on your head? I'm trying to acquire some poise. Well, I suggest that you don't try it at the dinner table. All right, Dad. I might add that it would probably do you a lot more good to put some of that American history into your head instead of on top of it. Oh, Daddy. Let's get on with the dinner. Bring in that beautiful roast, dear. I'm starved. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but this is all we're having. Just the salad, but there's plenty of it. What do you mean, just the salad? Well, the girls requested it, sort of a health meal. It helps trim down the waistline, you know. Oh, it does. Well, I don't need my waistline trimmed down. Stu? Oh, all right. But what happened to that roast I saw in the kitchen? Oh, that's for the PTA bazaar tonight. Oh, fine, fine. Now I'll have to go to the bazaar to keep from starving to death. Now, don't upset yourself, dear. Tastes like sandpaper. How come the girls had breakfast so early? Oh, Saturday, you know, full day ahead. They always like to get up early when there's no school. Ah, uh, youth. Well, I'd better dress and get busy, too. Willie and I have to trim the hedge today. Would you like some more coffee? No, 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 thank you. That's plenty. Come on, Joyce, let's get busy. But, Jackie, I don't think I'll look good in this kind of makeup. Well, the least you can do is try it, like Mom says about eggplant. You can't tell whether you like it until you try it. Well, okay, here goes. Mascara? Mascara. Lipstick? Lipstick. Eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. Lipstick brush? Lipstick brush. Powder base? Powder base. Hmm. Joan, I can't find the hair tonic. Look in the girls' bathroom. They may have some. Oh, all right. Thank you. Return to the Irwins in just a moment. Want a peek, too? Come closer. Aren't these wonderful? I'm so proud. I didn't know I could bake biscuits like these. So light and fluffy, with a crust that's crispy tender. Mmm, so good. Yes, and so easy with Betty Crocker's new stir and roll biscuit recipe. You need only gold medal flour, salt, milk, baking powder, and Wesson oil, which you stir all in one bowl. There's no cutting in shortening. Simply pour oil and milk together into the sifted dry ingredients and stir. From this one mixing, you can make three kinds of biscuits. For drop biscuits like these, you just spoon the dough onto ungreased cookie sheets. They're crispy and golden brown, just melt in your mouth. For small, thin, crusty biscuits, simply roll the dough between squares of waxed paper and cut. Or still, with no change of ingredients, you can have patted biscuits, light, fluffy, tall biscuits like these. 
Betty Crocker's easy new stir and roll biscuit recipe was developed to take full advantage of the superb uniform baking qualities of gold medal flour. You can depend on each cupful of gold medal to act the same. It never varies. Insist on gold medal kitchen tested enriched flour. Use it with Betty Crocker recipes. It's the perfect way to perfect bakings every time. And now, back to the Irwins. Mr. Lim? Mm hmm If you need any tips on that beauty judging contest, I'm your man. I'm a good judge of beauty. Yeah, well, you just see how beautiful you can make this hedge. What are you looking at, Willie? Oh, nothing, Mr. Irwin, nothing. Huh. Mr. Irwin? Yes? Yeah. Are you worried about something? No, Willie, I'm not worried about a thing but getting this hedge trim. Come on, now. Now, stop it, Willie. What's the matter with you? It's nothing the matter with me, but Mr. Adam, do you know your hair is turning gray? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Gray. <laughs> Willie, what's got into you today? Mr. Irving, your hair is turning gray. Honest it is. Oh, stop your nonsense. You must be growing old awful fast. Oh, Willie, don't be absurd. We have to finish this hedge so we can pull the weeds today, too. Yes. Mr. Herbert. Now what? I was wrong about your hair turning gray. <laughs> it's white. White, holy. Are you losing your mind? No, sir. If you don't believe me, you go look in the mirror. You've aged 10 years in the last 10 minutes. 10 years and 10 minutes. Who ever heard of such a thing? I'm going to get some gloves for my hands. I'll be down in a minute. Yes. Poor old man. I guess I'd better finish this here before I'll be getting great. Excuse me. Mr. Irvin. Mr. Irvin. I finished the hedge. Excuse me. Willie, how do I look? Oh, Miss George, you look swell. Do I look glamorous? I never would have recognized you, Miss George. George! Joan! Joan! Look at my... Stuart, what have you done to your hair? What have I done? That's what I'd like to know. That's what I kept telling you out there, Mr. Evans. Yes? Daddy! Joyce! What's happened to you? What have you got all over your face? It's just makeup, Daddy. I'm... I'm supposed to be Cleopatra. Oh, that's fine. You're Cleopatra and I'm Rip Van Winkle. What's going on in this house? Now, calm down. We can talk this over quietly. There's no need to get so excited. Oh, no, no reason at all to get excited. Everyday occurrence. Man turns white. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. Uh -huh. You see, I bought some bleach and I put it in the hair tonic bottle. What were you doing with bleach? I'm entering the homecoming queen contest, and I thought... The contest? You can't enter the contest. Why not? Because I'm one of the judges. You are? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. There's nothing wonderful about it. You can't enter a contest that I'm judging. I can't vote for my own daughter. Oh, but I can't drop out now. Everybody will think I'm afraid that I can't win. Well, I'm sorry, Joyce, but I still can't vote for you. That'll make it all the harder to win. But there are still two other judges. I'm going to enter that contest anyway. She has the old Irwin fight. Well, what are we going to do about my hair? Well, unless you want to wait a few months for it to grow out, we'll just have to dye it back. Dye it? Oh, no, no, you don't. No one's going to dye my hair. Well, at least let's go wash it before it gets any worse. All right. Uh, Mr. Irvin, that's a good idea. Yes, yes. Wash it down. You. Now I've got to go pull up all them weeds by myself. I think it's getting whiter. Oh, Stu, stop complaining about your hair. 
The girls apologize. There's time everyone forgot about. Oh, sure, fine. Just forget it. White hair. It's nothing. Nothing at all. where you bought that bathing suit or why you bought it, but you're taking it back tomorrow without fail. But, Daddy... I won't discuss it. Such a suit is positively indecent. But I have to have it for the contest. The contest? Do you mean that they're where... Oh, no, they're not. I'll see to that. I'm afraid you're too late, Daddy. It's already been announced in the Hamiltonian. Well, the Hamiltonian can just change their announcement. But, but this is the issue before the contest. It goes to press tonight. I'll just call Mr. Editor and have a few words with him. Oh, Dad, you're impossible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thank you so much for this beautiful loving cup. No, please, no picture, Spencer Dalton. However, I shall be happy to walk with you Saturday night. My good slippers! <laughs> I'd better call that Spencer Dalton and stop this before he has you in a bathing suit. <laughs> Gosh, Joyce, what are you going to do? I don't know. Just go to bed and forget about it, I guess. Well, I'll let you skip your exercises tonight. Just your facial. Then you can go to bed. Oh, no, not tonight. The book says... I know, the book says every night. Well, all right. What'll it be tonight? The clay pack facial? The bleach pack facial, the honey and egg facial, the hot oil facial, or just a plain old ordinary facial? Might as well go all the way. I'll take the clay pack. Good, that's the one I like best. Let's see. Two teaspoons almond meal, one of fuller's earth, and three of witch hazel. I'll go get it ready. You can slap your face a few times while I'm gone. One, two, three, four. Joyce, are you in there, dear? Answer the door, please. But I can't! Joyce, don't argue with your mother. Do as she says and answer the door. Good evening. Hello, Spencer. Uh, <laughs> uh, kind of chilly in here. Oh, I think I have a cold. <laughs> a bad cold. Um, uh, uh, sit down, Spencer. I, uh, I want to talk to you about these... Uh... Oh. Is it coming? Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't blame you at all, Mr. Irwin. As an editor, I'm sorry that's the way it has to be. But as an individual, I think women are too vain anyway. Most of them bore me to death. You might have something there, Spencer. Well, good night. Good night, Mr. Irwin. Daddy, how could you? How could I what? Why didn't you tell me Spencer was coming over? He saw me with my mud pack on. He'll never even look at me again. Nonsense. He didn't even know who you were. And besides, I don't know why you're going through with this beauty routine anyway. Is it really that important? You don't suppose he's going to notice me just because I get 100 on a math test, do you? You'd be surprised that Spencer's a very smart boy. Interested in Einstein's theory of relativity, believe it or not. Well, I don't care. Matter of fact, he thinks the contest idea is silly. He's only doing it to increase the circulation of the paper. Really? That's what he said. He has some very unusual ideas for a boy his age says that most girls are too beauty conscious. It's intelligence and character that count with him, not beauty. Vain women bore him to death. Really? That's what he said. Did he really say that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stuart, I am mm -hmm. not going to have you wearing your hat every place for the next three months. Come on, dear, let's get it over. Die. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. But if anyone ever brings any bleach into this house again, so help me, I am going to get rid of... Now, don't forget, I won't be home for dinner. I have that meeting late this afternoon, and then I'll go directly to the contest. All right, dear. But be sure and tell Joyce how nice she looks tonight. She's tried so hard. All right, all right. The only ray of sunshine I have in my life at this moment is that when I return home tonight, this contest business will be over once and for all. Willie, what are you doing here? Oh. Anything wrong? Uh, I'm just anxious to know how Miss Joyce come out in the contest. Sir. She wasn't there. She wasn't there. Huh. I didn't think she'd miss that for anything. No, I didn't either. She has me worried, Willie. Oh. Huh? You're young again, Mr. Irving. Oh, oh, yes. Well, I'll let you know what happened. Yes. Good night, Willie. Good night, sir. She ain't figured that man out. First his hair turns green, and then it turns brown, and then it turns white. Maybe next time it'll be bald. He won't have no hair at all. Hello, dear. Hello. How was the contest? Oh, fine. Nancy Johnson won. But what happened to Joyce? Shh. Come here. That development forms the special or restricted theory of relativity. Oh, I see. Then you say that the first postulate in Einstein's theory of relativity states uh, that if uh, two systems are in relative motion with a uniform linear velocity, it is impossible for observers on either system by measurement and observation of the other. Oh, good evening, Father. Good evening, Joyce. Good evening, Spencer. Good evening, Mr. Irwin. I see that circulation has gone up. Yes, about 20%. Oh, Father, could I see you for a minute? Certainly, excuse us, Spencer. Certainly, sir. I had no idea that Joyce understood. And neither did I. Hmm? Oh, Dad, you're just wonderful. I am? Oh, yes, you were just right. Hmm. I don't see how I could have been so shallow as to think beauty was important. It's character and intelligence that count. Oh, yes. Vain women bore me to death. Me too. Well, you'd better get back to Einstein. I mean, Spencer. He's nice, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I got this situation straightened out pretty well. <laughs> An exciting money-saving offer. The famous Betty Crocker picture cookbook, fastest-selling book in America. Yours now at no extra cost when you buy the General Mills True Heat Iron, the lightweight iron with the shape that makes the difference. Yes, two great values for the price of one. Here's the $3.50 edition of Betty Crocker's Picture Cookbook with 463 pages of Betty Crocker recipes and pictures. And this is the True Heat Iron with the exclusive tapered heel that lets you iron backward as smoothly and easily as forward. The only lightweight iron with permanently scratch-resistant sole plates. Now here is how you get this bargain. Buy the True Heat Iron for only $14.95. Get Betty Crocker's picture cookbook at no additional cost. An 1845 value, yours now for only $14.95. You save $3.50. Look for this display at your dealers now. Be with us again next week when General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in trouble with father. He's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. Cheerios. Yes, Cheerios. The only ready-to-eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats made to give you vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, sound teeth and bones. Get your Go Power from a Cheerios breakfast tomorrow. He's feeling his Cheerios. 